base sa Metropolitan Waterworks and Sewerage System o MWSS, may dalawang pinagkukunan ng tubig para sa Metro Manila. Ito ang Umiray at Angat River. Ang tubig ay napupunta sa Ipudam kung saan nakakonekta ang mga tunnel na nagsusupply ng tubig sa mga water treatment facilities ng Maynilad at Manila Water. Dahil sa problema sa tubig ng Manila Water, naungkat ang usaping pagtatayo na isa pang dam na popondohan ng pautang ng China. Handa magpautang ang China ng 18.72 billion pesos para mapondohan ang pagpapatayo sa kaliwa dam. Pero tutul rito ang mga katutubong dumagat sa Rizal at Quezon na itinuturing na ancestral domain ang sasakupin ng dam. Hindi rin sang-ayon dito ang Ibon Foundation, isang non-government organization. Problema dito, ginagawa yung dam na may impact sa more or less 1,500 na households. Mm. Uh, may mababahang area, about 113 uh, hectares, um, including the environment and critical areas. At ginagawa yan kahit hindi kailangan mag-create ng dam. Mm. Sa estimate namin, may at least um, 3,000 to 3,500 MLD na pwede makuha ng alternative sources. Nagkapirma na ng kasunduan ng Pilipinas at China para sa Official Development Assistance Loan para sa proyekto ng bumisita sa bansa si Chinese President Xi Jinping. Pero ayon sa Department of Environment and Natural Resources o DNR, hindi pa kagad masisimulan ang pagpapatayo ng dam. Niwala pa raw application para sa Environmental Compliance Certificate na requirement para maitayo ang dam. Hanggang sa kasalukuyan ay wala naman silang naisasubmit. Kung kaya't uh, technically, if you'll talk about the uh, application, wala kaming hawak kahit na anumang application tungkol sa dam. Hindi pa buo ang feasibility study ng kaliwa dam. Um, wala pa yung free parary informed consent na requirement para makuha yung consent ng IP sa nangyari sa kanila. Para sa amin, nababahala kami sa binamadaling proseso dito sa loong agreement. Ginhawa ba? o perwisyo ang posibleng dulot ng pagkatayo ng kaliwadam? Ito pong kaliwa, ang sinasabi ng kontraktor kasi, 2023. But uh, kami po nagtanong-tanong na rin sa mga expert at bakit kailangan na 4 years yan? Samantalang ang dam matapos natin ng 2 years. Yung conveyance tunnel is about 27.5 kilometers. At sabi ko, I was informed by experts and engineers na kung manggaling ka lang sa isang dulo, Siguro 3 years or 4 years. Ay sabi ko, pwede ba kung gawin natin pagkabilaan mm -mm. at wala ba tayong technical problem kung mag magsalubong? Andako. Pwede daw. Kung magumpisa siguro magdugtong, yung tunnel na gagawing 4 years, baka pwede namin gawin 2 to 2 and half years. So ang target natin so, ngayon is 2022. So matatapos before 22. Opo. Mm. Sigurado ba kayo na that project will be well done? We will make sure kasi po tayo ay nag-hire ng consultant na mayroong international exposure mm. na from the very start, ngayon pa lang, nakatutok na po yung ating mga consultant. In addition to our... In ba yung consultant? No? Hindi po, Filipino. Okay. Uh, combined Fili Filipino at saka foreigners. And then uh, we have our own uh, project management office mm -hmm. monitoring. Okay. So in other words, dalawa po yung patong. Yung aming consultant, at saka yung ating project management office. We support Kaliwa Dam because it's a surface water dam. Oh, no, we it's all long been... We uh, all support dams. Uh, it's just that we want to know it's why it was that, that, the, that, that three Chinese water companies all appointed by the government bid. So that's not really a, a competitive bidding because the, the three Chinese companies are related to each other. Di ba? The clients of Manila Water want to be compensated for their inconvenience. What do you say to that? Ang napag-usapan namin, and this was born by the hearing in Congress, is that mayroon naman hong internal mechanism. Pero ang sinasabi ni regulatory office, dapat dun sa rebasing. In other words, antayin yung rebasing, tapos dun niya babawiin. That rebasing is 2022, 2022 pa. pa. It's okay. kind of, it's kaya, kind, it's kind of far. Okay. So ngayon po yung pre-resource siya ng Congress. So sinabi niya, pwede naman daw po. And I told them, sige, pag-usapan niyo na lang yan. And I think they are, they are working with Manila Water how to implement. Am I, am I correct in understanding that the basic clients of Manila Water pay a fee no matter whether they get water or not? Uh, Is that right? That's correct. What are the minimum charges that you charge uh, families uh, whether or not they consume water? 
approximately the minimum charge, Professor, is about 86 uh, pesos, whether you have water or not. Those uh, tariff schedules are based on customer class, whether you're residential, commercial, or industrial. Given the incident, hindi naman po bingi ang Manila Water at uh, kami naman po ay malapit dun sa aming mga pinagsisilbihan. No? So uh, ayoko lang pong magbigay ng preemptive or false hopes. Uh, ang masasabi ko lang po ay uh, kami po ay uh, ang inaatupag namin ay uh, maibalik agad yung serbisyo ngayon. Pero naririnig po namin yan at yan din po ang uh, sinasabi sa akin ni General Velasco at ni Patrick T. Apparently, your agreement with MWSS is that you supply water 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you did not do that. Then there are penalties attached. The customers want to feel a certain financial uh, relief uh, or, you know, for the inconvenience, etc., etc. I guess it's not just punitive, it's moral damages. Hindi po kami bingi sa hinaing na yan ng apektadong customers. Yeah. So, uh, yan po is uh, something that is already outside of what is prescribed in the penalty system. Uh, at kami naman po is Manila Water has always been known no, to do things for the customer. Okay. So, I will just leave it at that muna po. Is there a possibility that El Nino, because El Nino is, it has not really come, but when it comes, the water supply will dry up and there will be another crisis before May. Uh, yung sa NWRB naman po, uh, meron po kaming technical working group. Mm -hmm. uh, member po dyan ang MWSS, ang National Irrigation Administration. nag attend din po ang dalawang concessionaires and pag-asa. Mm -hmm. So, minamanage po namin yung water supply doon po sa Angat Dam. Mm -hmm. Kasi po, 96% ng water supply dito po sa Metro Manila nanggagaling po sa Angat Dam. Mm -hmm. Ngayon po, uh, as of today, 197.11 po meters ang level po, water level po sa Angat Dam. 197, that is way above the minimum. Yeah, about 180 po. Okay. How, to go from 197 level, 197 meters high to 180, how many million liters does that represent? Uh, yung amin pong projection dyan, uh, tatawid naman po kami ng month of May. Kasi tatawid po, kayo ng month of May? Uh, po, kasi po, eh, yung, yung allocation po namin sa MWSS, full allocation po yan. The rest of uh, the uh, El Nino period, full allocation po sila. Ang babawasan po namin ay yung sa irrigation kasi malapit na rin po yung kanyang harvesting. Pag parapit na po ang harvesting, yung requirement niya ng tubig, pababa na rin po. Ito pong sumag na sinasabi ko kanina na 188 million liters per day, matatapos yan in 6 to 7 months ng Manila Water kasi sila po ang nagsusupervise. Definitely, pag pumasok po yung 188, pwede na sigurong ibigay namin lahat yun. Hingi through the MWRB, ibigay na po yan sa kanila, yung 188, para yung, yung 750, 1,600 magiging... 1,788 na. Malaking bagay po so, yan. So, malaking bagay po yan for next year. That's definite. That's definite. Okay. That's definite. When there is rainfall, when there is water, why don't we have reservoirs aside from dams? Ito nga po yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na ito dapat ginawa na long time ago. Oh, yeah, ito yung pag-improve ng estruktura. Uh -huh. Kasi, ang sinabi ko nga kanina, spill level na kami sa anggat, anggat. at saka sa ipo, nagtatapong kami. Nagtatapong. Pero ang aming lami, ang, ang lami sa dam, ang lami sa dam, oh. 72 meters lang. 3 meters above the critical point. Bakit? Hindi nga because, maka, because of the infrastructure. infrastructure. Kaya yun ang inuna natin na inayos. Ayan. Two years ago, we started it. We are continuously doing it now. I asked the common port facility, given this experience that we have, dapat bilisan natin to. Uh, we, go, we do this simultaneously, the aqueduct and the, and the tunnel, so that we can have 1,600,000 one, one okay. more. And uh, hopefully, kung sobra na yan, pag umulan, I don't think we do not talk about allocation anymore. Kasi kung sobra na nga, itatapon na pa, hindi pa kayo papayagan ng NWRB, medyo power na yan. Kaya ito po, yung aming effort para dalhin yung tubig doon sa reservoir namin, which is actually okay. Lamisa Dampo.